Hi everyone, good to see you again. So this week we continue the second half of the Shibashi's 18 Tai Chi Qigong set. And last week I demonstrated the second half, the second nine movements sat down. And today I'm going to show you them standing up. So for those of you who are doing this as a standing practice, you can once again see the variations that allow a greater range of movement. But as I said last week, remember the key thing is do the version that is your own unique doorway into a flow state of mind, okay? If you're doing something that's beyond your abilities, that isn't right for your body uh, today, and it's a strain, it's a distraction, it's hardship, it's tension producing, then that's not Tai Chi, that's not Qigong. You wanna be relaxed. So do remain seated if that's right for you. Um, and I'll demonstrate one-sided versions as well as both-sided versions again. But, um, and you can play that to a seated practice or standing. For those of you who are standing, I'll show you a couple of options at different levels of difficulty with regards to balance and complexity of movement. All right, so I'll start, because I'm standing, I'll start the warm-up stood up. By all means, do the warm-up with me seated as well. So one of both arms up, twist to one side, change, change sides. Come back to the middle, release the arms down, look to one side. Change, look to the other side. Back, and then one ear to one shoulder. Change sides, other ear to other shoulder. Come back to the middle. And then just bring chin from one shoulder to the other, just semicircles, pointing the chin down. Great. Come up. Shoulders roll up to the ears, pull them back. Shoulders, ears, roll back. Change directions up or forwards. Good. One elbow swing back, circle back, and forwards. And if the other limb is available, the other arm circling back or the side of the body circling back. And forwards. Great. Cross one hand across your body, twist all the way around. This is great if you're seated. Remember, you can grab hold of the chair, come back to the middle, use the other hand or the same hand, twist. Come back to the middle. Love, okay, good stuff. And now legs, so this is better if you're seated. Um, you're gonna, or if you wanna try standing at time, you're gonna lift one leg, circle the foot one way. It's much easier when you're seated. Change direction. Stand out, pull back. The other leg is available to you. You get a circular motion with the foot of the leg one way, other way. Stand back. Okay, right. So we're going to go for the second nine movements. Okay, movements 10 to 18. 
So, remember, move a line to this one. Movement 10, cloud hands. Going to do the easier one hand version. Circling the hand across your body, bringing it up, turning the palm away from you to lock over your face. And if you are standing, you can really experiment with shifting the weight from one leg to the other, turning the hips a bit so the whole body leads the movement. The arm follows as a ripple. Explore with the body leading the movement, the arm as a ripple. Great stuff. So option here. To change hands, circle the other arm across the body, over the head, scooping, turning the palm away from you. Keeping going with the first arm, the first side is just fine. Getting into the flow of the movement, circularity. Scooping down, crossing the body, scooping up, blocking, keeping that circular motion going. Final option here is to do two hands at the same time. If you've tried this with me before and it's improving, great. But don't let this be a, a block, a distraction into that flow that you've been getting into with a single arm. Two arms. The idea is you're waving. The other hand follows along the bottom change. Wave, other hand, other hand follows. One hand wave, one hand follows. Cloud hands. Even show. But don't let us be a block. If this is tricky, go back to one arm. Okay, moving away from number 10 to number 11. If you're standing, step one foot forwards. And you're going to Reach forwards, scoop down, bending the back, coming up, arch the back, forwards, down over the leading foot, up, arch the back. Of course, you can do this standing with both feet side by side seated as we did last week. One sided version. Two sided. And then you might bring the foot back, stand the other foot forwards, opening up, scooping down, opening up. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Again, one arm version. Two-sided. If you are leading with one foot, make sure you have the strength and mobility, the foundations in your legs. And obviously with the head going down and going up, be tricky with the balance. 
So you might want to make the movement smaller if you're getting dizzy from this. Okay, put your feet back. Number 11, number 12. Pushing forwards. Welcome back. Pushing forwards. Right. So you want to with one foot forward, pushing forward over the foot, rock and back, pushing forward. So I rock back, I lift my toes with the leading foot, and I put the toes down as I push. Or you can have the feet right underneath your shoulders on the spot, no problem. Shifting back, forward. One side. Remember, if you're seated, flow along with my upper body movements while being comfortable in your seat on the chair. Two hands. If you're standing, you got one leg forward. You need to stay here if you know that it's fine to mirror on the other side, bring my foot back. Add a leg as forward, pushing forwards, rocking back, lifting the toes down, just hinging and pivoting on heels and the toes. Let's give you more of a sense of momentum and pivot and the pushing and the yielding back. Yin, yang, yin, yang. One sided. Two hands. Right, bringing this one back to the middle. There we go. So that's 10, 11, and 12. 13, we're like a bird opening its wings as it stretches out in the morning before it flies. Opening out, turning up. Out. One way, opening, closing, opening, closing. Two ways. Moving fourteen, punching, open punch, relax hands, form a punch shape through the fist, but no tension. Opening and closing, whole body twists into. One side version, punch, bring it back, bring the other side of the body forward, punch, circle, bring it back, stay on the opposite side of the body, punch, circle, stay in the body. Two 
two hunches. Right. And then number 15, back to birds. This time the wings are going up and down. Our bird that's got ready is now taking flight. Raise the shoulders, elbows, wrists, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Taking flight, going up with each beat of the wings. And we can have two wings flying gracefully, one wing flying gracefully. Raised up. Okay, into the final three movements now. Seventeen up and down. If you're painting a fence. And of course, as we demonstrated last week, it could be two arms, then one arm up and down, extend the body forward up, and extend the shoulder forward, involving that other side of the body where possible, just seated, standing. Now, if you're standing, we've got more options of this one. If you want to bring in some balance into it. So as we go up, what we can do is as we lift one arm, we can lift the opposite heel of the foot down, drop the heel, other arm. So I've got my right arm going up, my left heel lifts down, left heel, left arm goes up, right heel lifts, opposite foot, opposite hand. And this might be just fine for you. So you're getting a bit of a like a marching action going on. If you want a little more, you could lift the whole foot up. Opposite foot, opposite hand. You're lifting the foot just a little bit off the floor, maybe. And then if you want a little bit more, you can lift the knee higher. But go within your limits, what's right for you in terms of balance. Don't overextend, don't push into something that distracts you. Introduce attention, take you out of that slow state of mind. So, you go small lifts, lift the foot just off the floor, or it could be lifts of the heel. Okay, number 17. Feet back under our shoulders. And we're going to circle big whole circles now, down, leaning forward, up, down, up.
So the standing allows you to lean a little deeper, if that's okay for balance, dizziness. And as a demo, there could be one arm that's doing the circle, like an elephant's trunk. It could be two arms. And when you spend a bit of time circling one way, change direction, change the direction of the circle, other direction, other way. It could be that one trunk filling the other way. We're going to bring number 18, it's number 617, sorry, to a close. I'm ready for number 18. Okay, last movement, number 18, the 18th set is stillness. Hands on Dantian, just below your belly button. Our last move is to be still. Go into ourselves. Let the ripple of previous movements slow down by the point of stillness inside us. And then when you're ready, you have your eyes closed, slowly open them. And there we go. Thank you. So that's the second half, moves 10 to 18 of the 18 sets. And maybe for some of you, this will be the second time now we've been doing these after we first practiced these last year in 2020. If that's the case, I hope the familiarity has helped. Um, if they feel new to you, I hope it's been accessible to try the seated or the standing versions, one-sided, both-sided. There's an option here. If, if some of the moves I'm doing just feel uh, too difficult, there's always a, a version that's right for you. So just check over other classes. Um, last week, we did the seated version of these um, nine movements. So next week, we'll have a go at doing all 18 in one go. So I'll stay seated for all of the movements and um, I will only do a couple of one-sided variations. You can check out today's uh, and the previous three weeks to see the breakdown and the greater detail of each movement. But next week, we're gonna go for the flow do all 18 movements and the next week I'll do it seated, the week after I'll do it standing. So you can enjoy the building of the energy as we progress through all 18 of the movements. So I hope that's going to be interesting. Um, and do talk to us, there were some great comments last week, people talking about what they found more challenging, what they found easier. Um, it's great just to hear how people are getting on with the movements. Okay guys, thank you. Bye bye.